Allie has her doctor's appointment. She's 17, she's a big girl. She can do these things on her own. But she's never done it on her own. The doctor burned a hole in her knee. This pain is no fun. I just want this pain to go away. Most favorite thing is to sit and listen to the piano being played. I love it so much. I love that Danielle finds songs that she loves and she learns how to play them on the piano. Daddy? What? Ken, you want to see something? Uh huh. Mommy has something to show you. Look. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a button on her arm. It's it's a self-destruct it, button. Self -destruct. No, it's it's. It's a gummy bear. <laughs> a gummy bear? <laughs> On her arm? Let me see that. Sarah, he is not even joking. That looks <laughs> just like a gummy bear. Yeah, dude. it does. Do you know what it really is? Hmm. Pre cancer. Mommy had pre cancer on her arm. Yep, so the doctor had to, he took this thing and made it frozen, and then it made this blister. And you know what Danielle said? Huh. Oh, that's so disgusting. Pop it, pop it. And I said, no, I'm not going to pop it. <laughs> I like my gummy bear. We got to show you Allie's knee, too. What's her knee? The doctor burned a hole in her knee. <laughs> he did. Let's see your foot. Is your foot better or is it bad? It's, it's better. Let's see. Oh, it does look better. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's all bruised down there. How sad. I was walking off the show and I stepped on a stick and it, it stabbed my foot. I know, that was so sad. But it's better now? Yeah. Allie has her doctor's appointment right now and I am running behind. So she had to go by herself and she's, <laughs> I mean, yes, I get it. She's 17, she's a big girl. She can do these things on her own. But she's never done it on her own. I had to send her to the doctor by herself and I told her I would be there. And I will be there. I am just trying to hurry. She can handle it, but I like to be there with her. I made it and I found Allie. She did it all by herself. <laughs> it took me a while. <laughs> I sent her the wrong address and so she went like a block away from our house. Siri's like, you have arrived. I'm like, this is not where I need to go. <laughs> I put east instead of west. And so she called me and she's like, I cannot find the doctor's office. So I kept driving because I wasn't sure where it was. <laughs> so we got it figured out. And she got here and she got checked in like a big girl. She was doing it all by herself. And we're still in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. How do you feel today? I am feeling so sick today. <laughs> And I didn't like, I've eaten goldfish and M&Ms because I don't dare eat other food to make it worse. Like standing up hurts so bad. Hopefully we can get some answers today. I hope so. I'm just scared they'll be like, you're fine. And yeah, I don't think so. Right now you're waiting what? My pee and my cup. <laughs> that's hard. I didn't need to go to the bathroom, so I'm like, ooh, that was hard. So we figured out three options, or three things we're gonna try. First of all, we're gonna try Marilax to make sure she's not constipated. Marilax is gross. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get so sick. Um, the second thing is we're gonna take, she's gonna take a pill to help bring down the acid level in her stomachs to see if maybe she has that sound like i said stomachs she only has one stomach in her stomach to see if she has an ulcer and then the third thing is we're going to do an ultrasound to check her gallbladder 
if the ultrasound looks good, then we'll do another, a different type of test that is a better check on the gallbladder. That's our game plan right now. We need to hurry because we are late for another fun activity. I will meet you there. Okay, be safe. I need my keys and my phone. Oh, you're so needy. All right, be safe. Okay. I love you. Love you. Allie insisted on driving herself to the place that we're going. <laughs> and now she can't find it. She has no sense of direction. I tried to tell her where to go for the doctor. I feel. And I, on, try, I tried to like tell her how to get there. And she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's a new driver. I she couldn't use GPS. No, but it's like, even on the <laughs> map, she'll be like, wait, where do you turn? This street? No, it's two streets down. Wait, no, no, it's this street. No, look at the map. I know. So, so hold now, on a second. But you gave her the wrong address though. I gave her the address that our friends sent us. <laughs> and it took her to the wrong place. And so now I need to send her this other address, but it's also trying to tell us where to go and how to get there, but I gotta share it with her. All right, I've sent her the right address, or at least the same address that we're going to now. And hopefully we all end up in the right place at the wrong time, because we're late. All right, Allie, are you ready for this? It's an escape room, and you're not on my team, so see ya. We're here with the Shumway Show. We have the Mikesels and they have Brock and Boston. Brock and Boston down there. We have the Leroy's. Are you just alone here? Where's Shanna? Oh, she already started? Oh, cute! Alright, Brock and Boston. Hey guys. Welcome gamers. Alright, you're good to go. Uh, so this is Labyrinth. Pinnacle of technology, guys. Oh man. I can't go in there. Yeah. You have to like either mental or physical or a little boat okay. before you go in. Okay. Okay, okay Johnny, climb through. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, here, take this. Oh, here, don't die, don't die. Don't die. Whoop! Open the door, open the door, open the door. Okay, we're in. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. So too bad, Sarah. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy went to escape room. And so we're having dinner right now with Grammy. <laughs> Look at Charlie. That silly old poo. He's even smiling. He's even smiling. Hi, I love you. You're such a silly poof. I'm the keeper of Grammy's keys. I'm Hagrid, the keeper of the keys. And look at my earrings. One says trick or treat, and one of them is a candy corn. They're so cute. Grammy gave them to me, and I also have some that I'm gonna show you tomorrow. So watch tomorrow, and I, I can show you which ones I have tomorrow. The team split up from the parents. We um, Allie and Alyssa and Kexley are on a team, and me and Taylor and Brock and Boston are on a team. We just really tried the ninja one, we're not very good at it, but... Okay. So, oh, crap! Just go across on your stomach or something. <laughs> Power through it! The fun thing about this is I can just like sit here and hit Are you doing it? Because... Wait, are you done? Did you already... Yeah. Oh yeah, I can just hit the track on this. Wait, Brock, did you hit the button? Okay, we can walk on the red now. Woo! You got this, Taylor. I tried it and I had a freak out. You got Brock's just going over and hiding Brock until the door is closed. Wait, Miss, and he's just gonna press the button. We're such cheaters, guys. Okay. Yeah, go, go, go. All right, guys, here we go into the shoots and ladders one. Wait, don't step on anything until we're there. They made it through. Okay, ready? Door closed? It's already red. I think it's because we ran over. So every, all the other teens went inside this one, the asylum. And it looks scary. It looks so scary. So me and Taylor decided to stay out because I cannot do something. We're gonna do our. So we're we're tag team and we're gonna do something together. I think since it's a burglar, we have to deactivate the lasers. Okay, let's do Wait, it. Remember? remember two on the left to prevent the theft. Two on the right to turn, turn the day, day to night. night. Two on the left to prevent the theft. Left. So left, one on the left. Maybe we have to go left then right? Should we yeah. try it? Okay, <gasps> we gotta do the one on the right. It's red. It's red? 
So maybe, okay, we gotta figure this out. So the one on the left to prevent the theft, maybe we have to go there together. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to do it at the same time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. We just finished at the Labyrinth. It is so awesome. If you're in Utah, get to it, make it happen. We will put a link in the description below. Go check it out, it really, it so awesome. I don't think we beat any of them. So difficult. But it was so, so fun. Worth it. I left dinner early because I, everyone else was still eating and having fun, but I left early because I am not feeling good. Um, I started eating and my stomach feels so bad. It hurts so, so bad. So I'm at Smith's and I'm gonna go get prescription that the doctor gave me so I can take that this week. And I'm gonna go get gummy bears because that's what makes me not sick. And I've been eating M&Ms and goldfish all day today, and I'm starting to get tired of them, so I'm gonna eat gummy bears tomorrow because <laughs> they're good. I got my gummy bears, and I got my prescription. Um, now I just have to take it, and hopefully I'll feel better. Also, there's a stupid thing on my eye, and it's annoying, and I don't know what it is. Um, so now I'm gonna go home, take my pill and go to bed. Cause I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow. I've gotta go get an ultrasound. I'm so scared that they'll just be like, nothing's wrong, you're fine, it's good. Hoping that either pills will work. Um, he says that'll, that'll check for something else, I can't remember. I really hope that I get better soon because this pain is no fun. And if that means surgery, I just want this pain to go away. And I don't care if it's surgery or pills or, I don't care. I just want it to go away because it's stopping me from eating food, uh, not having enough energy for fun activities. I am craving ice cream like crazy. Craving ice cream and french fries like crazy. But I can't eat them because I know that I'll get very sick. I chose wrong and I ate shrimp and chicken and I knew I shouldn't have eaten chicken and sadly shrimp is off the list now, which makes me very sad because I love shrimp so that means I can't eat shrimp until I'm better. Or chicken or pasta and it breaks my heart because I love those things so I have to stick with gummy bears and goldfish and M&Ms. I should have bought more M&Ms, dang it. But now it's time to go home and go to bed. Hi, I'm Jane Tyre. And I'm Kennedy Newman. And remember, you are worth it. Bye! Bye!